Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Navy Lingo, brought to you by the National Civil War Naval Museum. I'm Jeff Seymour, historian and curator here, and we are walking through several terms to help you learn the ropes of life on a ship and some of the terms that would be familiar to Civil War sailors. And right here on the deck of our mock-up of the USS Monitor, we're going to look at more, this is more of a visual than it necessarily is a background of, of a particular term, but a coil. Why, why do you see ropes coiled up on the deck? Well, the term coil is, is, there's some debate about how far back it goes, but it is certainly a term that is borrowed from French into English, coilier. And coil simply means wrapping around into concentric circles, like a snake coils up. So this is a general term. But by the mid-1600s, the term began to be used for these formations of rope, rope aboard a ship, not line. A line is used uh, for sails and whatnot, so there's a difference there. But coiling up rope on a deck, and what this does is makes things very neat and tight. So just like this, you're clearing the deck, you're making the deck secure from landlubbers tripping all over the place, and someone can come along and easily pull this line or rope uh, to be used in whatever manner necessary. So by the mid-1600s, this is a term that was used for this type of formation on a ship's deck. And probably by the late 1600s, early 1700s, we start to see the term bosun's coil used, but this is not, a, not necessarily as often used, and certainly something that a Civil War sailor could have used. So a coil. So again, learn the ropes with these Navy lingo terms. And if you like this and other, our other programs, please like us right there on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and your other social media outlets. And don't forget to help support programs like this at www.portcolumbus.org.